Welcome back to 225.live tab tutorials. Today I'm going to cover melee weapons. So there are only a few melee weapons in the game. I think there are actually more like specialty weapons than melee weapons. So the most important ones that I'm going to cover right off the bat are the katana and the yarl axe. Now these are some of the melee weapons that take up a full slot. So a full huge slot that you could have a full size gun in are where these two are going to go. So these are pretty dangerous, as you can see. The Yarl Axe was actually nerfed recently. It was probably one of the last few updates before this game stopped receiving updates in which it was nerfed quite heavily. It used to be a one hit, but now it, it's still very battle effective because each hit will knock down the opponent and then you can just go in for one more hit and it'll kill them. So the fire rate for uh, for an axe is actually pretty high because you knock them down and then you go for the second hit and, and they'll die. So if you're close up to somebody, this is pretty much like just as effective as a shotgun if you're actually right next to them and they're not shooting you. So this is something to keep in mind that if you don't have any other like close range weapon, then this is a good way to, to catch people off guard, go in for one hit, it'll send them down and you can kill them pretty fast. And also it can hit multiple targets as I showed right there. And it does have a special ability. If you hold down left click, then it's to that point you let go, it'll send you up and then it'll slam down like that. And also you saw those little ice shards there. That's it's It's the same as the ice blessing. So all you need to do is it'll charge up shoot come down it'll do a bit of damage and also those little ice flakes will slow down the enemy so that's pretty nice and most of these melee weapons have an ability that you use with right click in some form and that's the yarl axes so all in all this is the best melee weapon definitely one of my favorite i'll pretty much always pick it up if i'm looking to meme on people but yeah yarl axe that's that next the katana this one i don't have nearly as much experience in but it's still a pretty fun weapon to use it is also a two hit like the yarl axes and it still knocks them down but the left click ability is different so this still does the exact same thing as the yarl axe but its left click ability is this you'll see it makes this little thing and it kind of charges you forward so it's pretty good for mobility so, and it, it's kind of it does go through people a little bit so i'll line up the target dummies do this and it, it shoots through them does a bit of damage so it's very, very good for mobility. It pushes people back, does a bit of damage when you do that. And it's pretty fun. But obviously, of course, the, the one drawback of these weapons is that they're not very, um, they're not good for long distance. Obviously, they're very, very short and they take up a whole a whole full size slot. But with that in mind, these actually, they, they can hit people if you're pretty far away. Like you don't actually have to be right up on their ass to do it. Like if you're right here, I can still hit this guy. Like still, when you're surprisingly far away from these things, you can hit them. So just like kind of experiment with the range because you got to get a good feel of what you can hit. But the range is, is it's a little bit farther than you would think. Like you can, you can hit fuckers from pretty close, to, from, from less close than you would think. So you got to give that a go and just get a good feel for these weapons because if you go in like uh, without any experience in it, then you won't pretty much know what to do. It is it is straightforward, but like if you don't have the good range in mind and you're not you're just trying to hit people from too far away, just get a good feel for these weapons. It's a good, it's a good rule just for every single gun in this game. Just get a good feel for every weapon every grenade which i did say in my previous grenade video now next are all these weapons these the rapier the saber and the viking axe all of these are one-handed so i can pick them up and you'll see that they'll go into each of their own slots and i can hold something else with them so typically if you are going for like a melee experiment then you can have like for instance a rapier or a viking axe in your third slot and nothing else anywhere uh, and just regular guns here so all of these also have their own little abilities uh, the right click abilities like all melee weapons do except for the inflatable hammer. I'll get into that in a bit Now the rapier has this little uh, similar animation to that and it's this little flurry of swords. It's pretty cool um, If it, it, the range isn't very far, but when you're if you're kind of like turning a corner for instance I'll go over to this corner over here What I'll do it does slow you down But what you can do is you hold down right click turn a corner see somebody just send that flurry at him And it will kill him so it also it doesn't quite like uh, send them down as much. It'll just push them. It won't uh, push them to the ground like the katana and the uh, yarl axe will. Uh, and it doesn't do nearly as much damage. But still, considering that it's in your third slot and you can kind of spam it, it's pretty good. So that's the rapier. Next, the Viking Axe. This one also, it, it doesn't, uh, it goes for a bit of a knockback, but it's pretty fast recovery and it does. It's a three shot, so it doesn't actually kill that quickly. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind. It's it's either a two or a three shot, like kind of depending on where you hit or how far away you are. It's it's a little strange. Either way, uh, it's still a consistent weapon, pretty good for your third slot. And it's right click ability. You right click, and then it sends this little axe that makes a little ice wall. This ice wall stays for a bit, and then it'll eventually come down. Um, but it's very good to just sort of like block people if they're coming through. You can block off an entrance, block off somebody from healing their teammate, and then it'll eventually come down, and then you can send another one. 
Uh, you can put it multiple up at one one time, uh, but only for a little bit, and you can't, of course, spam it that much. So that's Viking Axe. Next, the Saber. This one's very, very interesting. It's, it's very similar to the other weapons in terms of damage and reach, but except for also, like the Rapier, it doesn't have a knockback, a stun, anything like that. It's also just a three hit. So, yeah. But its right-click ability is you right-click, and then it spends this little sword. That'll like have this little water thing that shoots people up and then stuns them as they come down. Uh, they bounce for some reason, but yeah, it, it does a little bit of damage and like it kind of sends them flying So this you can also you don't have to put just put it just on the floor You can put it on walls and then it'll still shoot and you can easily hit yourself with it Which is something to keep in mind, but that's just, that's the saber also pretty fun uh, Very good like early game. No one else has a very good weapon if you're trying to get the easy advantage on someone do something to uh, get, Catch them off guard the sabers are a pretty good way to do that next the last uh, melee weapon is the inflatable hammer this one, I don't even know if it still spawns in. It's, it's not very common if it is, because it makes a funny noise. It's the little squeaky hammer. But also, it's a two-hit, kind of like the Jarl Axe, uh, but it doesn't actually have any special ability. Uh, if I'm right-clicking right now, nothing's happening. So, yeah, I mean, other, it's just funny. Like, again, as I've said in other videos, this is a meme weapon, one of many. So, yeah, it's, it's just a joke. You want to fuck around, and you can use this huge inflatable hammer and hit stud, and it makes a, it makes a funny noise. But, yeah, that's the last melee weapon. Uh, except for the shovels, which is actually, um, they're, they're, I don't even know if these spawn in either, because I honestly haven't seen them, but they're also, they're one, they're full-sized weapons, which is a little annoying, because I don't think they really do much. Um, you can see that it makes, also makes a funny noise, but it's the exact same as the, um, rapier and the saber, and that they don't do any knockback, they just do a bit of damage and a three hit. Also makes a funny noise, but I don't think this spawns in, so it doesn't really count as one of the other melee weapons. Again, it's funny, a little meme, but yeah, that's about it. So that's about it in terms of melee weapons. There's not much else to it. There's very few of them. Pretty easy to use. Just go around into the shooting range and mess around with them. Get a feel for them. And then use them in games. They're really fun. Um, it's, it's very satisfying when you get kills with them. Uh, very nice to just like get a good Jarl Axe kill to knock somebody down. Or use a katana. Something like that. They're always really fun to use. Very, very funny. Satisfying in game. Um, but it's also very infuriating when they're used against you. But it's a very it's a very fun feature of this game. So yeah, just go out, use some melee weapons, and um, get some dubs, boys. Um, thank you for watching 225 Loud and Live Tab G Tutorials. See you guys next time.